What's up guys, Alec Ankiri here. And I know you guys have been hearing me talk about these freaking training templates for quite some time now, and they're finally ready to go. I just finished them up this past week, and since then I've been working on putting together my website, which I just officially launched yesterday. So basically, right now on the website, you can find a bunch of my informative YouTube content organized into relevant categories, depending on what you're searching for. There's also a page for lifting tutorials, which I've done several of those over the years, and I've even got an article section in there. And my first article that I ever wrote is the only one that's up there so far, but I do actually enjoy writing a lot, and I definitely want to make it a habit of getting a new article up at least every month, and eventually get that archive filled out a little bit more. So make sure you check back in every now and then just to see what's new. And then in addition to all that stuff, you can also find a list of all the coaching services that I offer and the training templates as well which can now be downloaded directly through the website as far as the coaching services go my main services are writing customized training programs as well as providing comprehensive online coaching but most people who come to me are looking for customized training programs so I've streamlined that process a little bit now to make it easier for you guys so basically before you had to email me and I would send you the list of the coaching services that I offer along with my client questionnaire but now the services are available right through the website as well as the questionnaire which can now be downloaded directly from the website so you can just go straight to my page download and fill out the questionnaire and then email it to me whenever you're ready and then I I can get started writing your fully customized training program right away, which just makes it easier, I think. And then in addition to all that, what I really want to talk about the most today are the training templates. And I've been working on those for several months now at this point. I can't remember when the first time I mentioned you guys was, but it was a pretty good while ago now. But they're finally finalized and they're available on the website as well. So you can go check that out. I wrote up a quick little description for each one for the people who are interested. But basically, I've got a 16-week novice template a 16 week intermediate template, a 16 week late intermediate template, a 20 week vertical jump specialization program and manual, and then a few different bundle packs of the different templates depending on what people might want to purchase together. And I just want to give you guys just a little bit more information about the templates themselves. Obviously they can't be customized like my usual programs that I write for specific individuals, but what makes these programs really stand out is that for one, they're designed specifically to be reused many, many times. They also give you just enough leeway to kind of mold the program specifically towards your own goals while simultaneously providing you with all of the information that you need to be able to continually spur progress along pretty much indefinitely with the three templates themselves combining together to form a complete system of training. But so basically, I've categorized all of the different exercises involved in the training programs, and then I've created a template that you fill out yourself that calls for exercises from each specific category. So with each template, you get the layout of the program itself, which is then broken down by category for each exercise listed, and it tells you exactly when to perform each exercise, as well as the number of sets and reps, and etc. And then you get a progression scheme for each of the primary exercises, as well as the secondary exercises. There's also a general notes section that details all the miscellaneous stuff that needs to be covered. There's a session notes section that covers all the details for every single exercise within each individual training session. And then lastly, there's also an exercise selection section for all the primary exercises, the secondary exercises, and even the accessory exercises and the isolation exercises as well. Usually anywhere from five to 10 options to choose from for each category with more and more variation being applied as you advance from beginner to intermediate to late intermediate. So you could run through the templates in probably a million million different ways if you wanted to without ever running the same program twice but you would still always get the desired training effect because all of the exercises are pre-categorized for you so there's no confusion about what goes where or anything like that and like I said the progressions are all laid out for you as well so the novice and the intermediate templates I use a linear progression for the primary and the secondary exercises and I adjust the frequency and the volume and the intensity as you become more experienced in order to coax progress along 
And this is exactly how I train all of my clients, whether in person or online. As you become more experienced, you need to do more work. And that work generally needs to become a bit heavier, at least in doses. So that's the guideline that these templates follow. And then my personal favorite of the three is actually the late intermediate template, where I veer off from the linear progressions and instead I use an auto-regulated progression scheme here. So obviously I can't provide exact numbers to use on a week to week basis for that particular template, but I do give weekly ramp up designations along with percentage based back off work. So for example, in week one, you might ramp the squat up to a heavy set of five reps and then perform two or three back off sets of five reps using 85% of the top set. Now, that's just an example, but that gives you an idea of how that programming is laid out. And then I have a whole detailed protocol written in there about how to execute a proper ramp up because that's a pretty important aspect of that particular program. But auto-regulated ramp ups are a heck of a lot of fun. I've always found them to be one of the most enjoyable training methods in existence. So I definitely wanted to include one in these templates. The most important part with it though is just making sure to execute the ramp up correctly and not go too crazy with the weights, at least at first. And I think that I've provided you with all the tools you need to succeed in that regard. Additionally, part of what I wanted to do with these templates was create a full system of training. So basically, they all complement each other. So if you had all three, you could literally go from complete beginner to advanced lifter over the course of a few years using nothing but those three training templates. Ideally, you would run through a few different permutations of the novice template for your first year or two, and then after that you would switch to the intermediate template, and after earning a few more notches under your belt with that program, you could then move on to the late intermediate template. And then those latter two programs actually make a perfect pair in terms of alternating training programs. You could literally run one to two or maybe even three cycles of each of those two programs back to back for the rest of your fucking life. And honestly, you literally wouldn't need anything else. To be honest, I've basically run my own personal version of those two programs for as long as I can remember. Each one kind of re-stimulates you to the other. So by the time you get back to it, there's a fresh batch of gains waiting to be made on the other side. It's actually pretty cool. And then I just wanna to touch on the vertical jump program real quick because that one is a little bit different from the others. For starters, it's not just a program, it's also a power development manual. It's got a lot of information about the hows and the whys of power development and vertical jump development. I go into some of the science behind improving the vertical jump. I discuss the role that strength training plays in increasing the vertical jump and power production in general, which seems to be a point of major confusion for many people, as I've now learned in my YouTube days. And I also discuss the role that plyometric exercises play, as well as exercises like weighted jumps and Olympic lifts and all that good stuff. But so you get an entire breakdown of what's going on in the program, not just the program itself, but also how the vertical jump actually improves and kind of why everything is laid out the way that it is. In addition to that, I also provide a video demonstration of a few of the more complicated exercises for people who tend to be more visual learners, which happens to be a trait shared by many athletes. And there's also a detailed write-up for the proper execution of both low intensity and high intensity plyometric exercises in regards to bilateral vertical jump improvement. And there's a bit of a difference between those two, but I go into specifics in the manual. Now the program itself is a 20 week program and it's a little bit different from the other templates in that it's part template and part pre-written program. So I wanted it to be a complete training program for the entire body, so it does contain upper body work. Now, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I wanted it to be a complete program, so I included that as well, because I think that a lot of vertical jump specialization programs and sports-specific programs in general tend to leave that aspect out, and I didn't want to do that, because I am a lifter at heart, after all. But so that upper body work is written in template format, just like the other programs. So there are designated exercise categories and then you fill in the template with the exercises that you want to do. But since the goal for the lower body here is so specific, I filled that work in myself. 
The exercises there are pre-prescribed with the options that I think are gonna maximize progress in terms of jumping development. This program is my baby, so I didn't want to compromise the results at all. But it's a really good program, I promise. Now, it's broken down into three distinct phases, with each phase lasting six weeks and having its own specific goals. And then the final two weeks lead you into a deload and essentially a mini taper that leaves you refreshed and peaked before testing your vertical jump. So it's really good stuff. I think I'm actually going to run it myself the next time that I want to peak my vertical jumping ability. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll check out my website and let me know what you think. And if you think you know someone who might benefit from the information there, please feel free to share it with them as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep training hard and I will catch you guys next time.